well, let me first say I am by no means a comedian mm. at all. Never aspired to be one. Okay. Um, that is an art that, and I say this all the time, like that is an art that I would never play with. I think I want to start at the beginning though, because you are in a space with comedians. Um, I'm a fan of comedy. I do stand up comedy. Uh, and it's a it's an interesting space to be in. So, like, was comedy always a passion of yours? Was that news specifically a passion of yours? How did you fall to where you where you landed so so softly? Ooh, that's a long that's a long journey back. How far do we go back? Um, well, let me first say I am by no means a comedian mm. at all. Never aspired to be one. Okay. Um, that is an art that, and I say this all the time. Like that is an art that I would never play with. Mm. Like I, I think there's so much that goes into it and especially now being on the back end of it like understanding comedy yeah. even more it's like yeah no i'm not even trying to play with that like okay. even if i can be a little jokey jokey with my friends but i would never say like oh yeah i can go i can go not a once up. not I, a never i you unless someone like heavy in the game came and told me you know you you got okay. something like i see something i see something in you, baby. I, I see yeah 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 i see yeah, it yeah, in you, yeah. baby. Like, going like, over there and play i see i see <laughs> yeah it's just not an art that should be played with so um just like you i've always been a fan okay. of comedy it's just a part of our culture mm. um it's one of the arts i feel that can embody things that we go through both serious and funny and for just sure. put it in a form that we can receive it for sure and digest it um also comedy is not always just funny as you know some comedians are that gut funny comedian but then you also have other comedians that just make you think right um so i just always been a fan of it fan of it but my journey actually started um i don't even know so <laughs> when i was younger <laughs> when i was younger i used to do like fashion shows and and different things like that like more in the modeling aspect okay. of things and i did one show and a photographer actually saw me. He was just like, I don't know what it is. His mm. name's Chris Kelly from South Carolina. Shout out to Chris Kelly. Come on, Chris Kelly. <laughs> he was like, it's just something about you. There was a switch that I saw when mm. you were walking. I would love for us to connect and let's do a photo shoot. Okay. Um, it wasn't weird at all. Right, it wasn't right. one of them like, hey. That can go either way real quick. <laughs> it wasn't hey, a hey, baby, baby. I saw something in you. Just me and you can connect and do a photo shoot. Come here, <laughs> let me talk on, to you. Like, go on, play. Come here. Come on, go on, go on, play. It, it wasn't one of those. Um, he was serious. Mm. And so we did a photo shoot. It was great. And then he was like, hey, I'm going to a fashion show in, in Atlanta. You should come with me. Mm. So I went. And from there, it honestly just became every room that I was in, I would meet somebody okay. that would take me to the next part of my journey. So I went there and met um, someone that invited me out to a red carpet and that's Jerome with in-house media invited me to do red carpet interviews because he liked my personality. Mm. And then I would go there and meet different people. I met Daytrick Davis, who I started doing like the recap room with. And so I just started getting into media, but never with the intention of like, oh, I want to get into, right. into media. Right. And um, yeah, once thing, and I've, I've always loved entertaining. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, it's just naturally me. Like I, my personality is crazy. Mm -hmm. like, it's, <laughs> like I'm, I'm one of those people that's just like, she got a lot of energy. She needs to pipe down just a little bit. Um, so yeah, it just, it just led from one thing to another. So I started getting heavy in it, ended up moving to Atlanta for a corporate job mm -hmm. and um, ended up leaving my job a couple years ago. And yeah, I got into comedy hype. So it was crazy. It was in the midst of the pandemic. Wow, okay. So by this time I had already hosted for like Essence Festival. Oh, nice. Um I've been on an HBCU tour with Ford. Shut your mouth and um, slap somebody. <laughs> huh? Just we, don't slap me. We gotta me. slap nobody now. We gotta <laughs> slap nobody. Now didn't I tell you I told you? Get on over there and play now. <laughs> Get on over there. Um that's gonna be the tag that's the tagline for this episode. Go on over there and play Going now. Go over there and play now. Um so yeah, by this time I had already done stuff. Um I was doing Brown Brothers. And during the pandemic. That's the hair show, right? Yeah, okay. and it's here in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So I got booked for um, Tom Jorner Cruise. Okay. For It was in 2020, but it was like right around the time that all the, oh, all the stuff started. Everything COVID started start. to turn. It started shutting down. Now, so we're, What were you going to do in the Tom Jorner Cruise with your young self? And then, uh, oh, 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 it's the Tom Jorner Morning Show crew. I love Tom. I love the morning show. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> so their, their entertaining department is actually phenomenal okay. on the cruise. So I was working with a group, um, and which I think now we've changed the name, but I don't know if you're familiar with like, well, probably not because you're not from Atlanta, mm -hmm. but there was, there was this series called like Play Date Atlanta okay. um, with Amari Harford. Um, and he would pretty much be like, it's, it's very like that hosting because by this time I'm modeling, I'm hosting events, but I'm hosting events from like your small events to like the big ones like mm. Essence Festival. But it's very, that hosting is very like, 
interactive with the crowd. Okay. So we're dancing, we're playing games, like it's very interactive. So that's what Tom Jordan Cruise was gotcha. being booked for. It was hosting, but in a very interactive, interactive way. way. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we got booked, and um, as quickly said, as it uh-uh. came, uh-uh. we didn't <laughs> it, do that. Go on over there, sit down. <laughs> don't, can't even go play. You got to go sit down. Go sit down. So yeah, so. After those got dropped, obviously, because COVID happened, those got shut down, um, Comedy Hype reached out and they were looking for a host, okay, um, a moderator, excuse me, a moderator to moderate the Comedy Hype news show because mm. they were making a transition. And I was just like, oh, let me just give it a try. Mm. Let me go interview and see, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of comedy. Mm. And also, too, he was very intentional to say, you know, you don't have to know the, the facts of everything as far as in comedy or you don't have to be a stand up comedian. Mm. But I like the way that you talk to people and make people feel and like that's going to be important. And then we can add the information on top of that. So yeah, once I went and met everybody, it was, it was like an automatic. Yes. It was like, Oh, I love it's black owned. I love that they're pushing a message for our people. Mm -hmm. And then I also have a voice in, you know, the things that we cover and the things that I say, like, it's not just, Oh, Hey, you have to do it this way. You have to do it that way. But they actually let me have a voice. So yeah. So, so I appreciated that. Nice.